Good morning and welcome to the thorough newspaper analysis for 29th April 2022. For today, we have two articles. First, the return of instant justice, which has been taken from the Indian Express by V. N. Rai. And for the second article today, we have the Hattis of Himachal Pradesh and their demand for scheduled tribe status, which is also taken from the Indian Express editorial. Following that, we will have the news update and the legal news, which you know are a part of Law Seco's initiative to keep its students and readers updated with current affairs happening in and around India. So for the first article today, the return of instant justice, it talks about the recent bulldozing of the slum areas. And as we know, independent India has always condemned instant punishment in the books. However, the same is embedded in the minds of the people and what Ram Manohar Lohia stated as cruel cowardice. Lohia gave the example of the average India who would not stand up to the local goon because obviously he would be afraid of him, but he would not fail to beat up a pickpocket because he knew that if he initiated the violence, nothing would come back on him. The present executive setup has brought back this concept of instant justice where the police are now being recommended as the judge, jury and executioner. So the most heartbreaking part of this story is that a large number of people support this cruelty. This is cruelty because as we know in our system, it is the duty of the police to investigate into a matter and get hold of the people who are accused. They are not a part of the system who pronounces whether the alleged person is guilty or not. But a few years ago, some students who had sexually assaulted a doctor and later killed her, were taken out of jail and killed by the police while the citizens of Hyderabad celebrated it. We also remember an incident in Uttar Pradesh where a wanted, wanted goon had been arrested by the police and the same goon, while on his way to the court, had tried to run away and the police claimed that the goon had tried to run away and hence they had to kill him in an encounter. So, however, no one questioned the lack, like no one yet questions the lack of faith that the general mass has for the judiciary to give a timely justice to the victim. And this shows that modern day life has secured instant justice over outdated legal frameworks. Further, bringing in changes in the police procedure, the prose prosecution and the courts is handsomely expensive, while instant justice almost often provides a very cheap alternative. The recent action of instant justice meted out to the dwellers of commercial buildings have opened up questions that ultimately paint the society and government to be very barbaric. This only draws us back from what little we have achieved in the last seven decades and makes the rule of law a nightmare. Due to this incident being out here, now we can say that the society and the go government have somehow turned to the point where we have become sadist and we are now taking place. Like we are now deriving happiness from the instant justice that is being meted out to people whom we deem guilty. For the second article today, we have the Hattis of Himachal Pradesh and their demand for ST status. The CM of Himachal Pradesh has stated that the Home Minister has assured that he shall consider the matter of Hattis favorably for their inclusion under the scheduled tribe status. The Hattis had earlier threatened that if their demands were not met, they would be boycotting the elections. Now, they are a three lakh strong community and are thus politically significant as they have a sizable presence in the seats of Sirmore and Shimla regions. So the Hattis are a close-knit community and they take their name from their occupation of selling homegrown crops. And they're located in the Himachal Uttarakhand border in the basin of Giri and Tones River. They have a rigid caste system with the Bhat and the Khash being the upper castes within their community. So the STs in the area include the Gujars, the Kinnaras, the Laholas, and the Pangwalas, and several other small tribes. Uh, these tribes are characterized as people who live in very remote and high altitude areas. So the ST status to the Hattis was first promised during the 2009 election manifesto made by BJP. Now this gained so much support from the Hattis that they continued making this promise in subsequent years in their election manifestos. And the importance of their support lies in the fact that Shimla used to be a Congress stronghold. And ever since BJP went forward and published this ST status for Hattis promise in their manifesto, the seat was clinched by BJP solely based on the support that they had gathered from the Hatti community.
So in 2016, the Congress chief minister had made efforts to include the Hatti community under the scheduled tribes, but the then Home Ministry had stated that there was insufficient ethnographic study data, and hence the Hattis were not eligible to be called STs. For the news updates today, for the first article, we have Bhalswa landfill on fire. The massive fire which was recorded at the Bhalswa North Delhi landfill continues to burn after 36 hours. Fire tenders are trying to douse the flames as this sits on top of another of the three incidents of fire in the Ghazipur landfill site, which was doused after 50 hours of constant effort by the fire tenders. Secondly, we have Salim Ghuz dies. Veteran actor Salim Ghuz died at the age of 70 following a cardiac arrest. He was known for his performances in TV shows like Bharat Ek Khunch, as well as films such as Sardari Begum and Soldier. As an actor, he received wide acclaim with the 1987 TV show Subha. He, was, he had also dubbed the Hindi version of Disney's Lion King, which was made in 1995, where he voiced the character Scar. For the third article today, we have Kabal Nath resigned from the MP assembly leader of the opposition post. Veteran Congress leader Kamal Nath resigns as the leader of opposition in the Madhya Pradesh Assembly. He will, however, remain the chief of the Madhya Pradesh Congress. The party leadership approved the appointment of former minister and seven-time MLA Dr. Govind Singh as the leader of the Congress Legislature Party. Number four, we have Ben Stokes named as the new test captain of England. Ben Stokes has been named as the new England test captain, taking over from Joe Root. All round Stokes, who is aged 30, has scored 5,061 runs and taken 174 wickets in 79 tests and has been the vice captain across two spells since 2017. For the legal news today, we have the first article, bail order should be furnished to the accused in prison on the same day as it is pronounced. And this is held by the Supreme Court, who further clarified that the rules 17 of the 2021 draft criminal rules on practice, which shall be adopted by the high courts as a mandate for furnishing the bail order to the prison concerned, will in turn hand over the convict the bail order on the same day. The aforementioned rule 17 states that an application for bail in a non-bailable case must be disposed of ordinarily in a matter of three to seven days from the date of the first hearing. And this has been held in re to issue certain guidelines regarding inadequacies and deficiencies in criminal trial versus the state of Andhra Pradesh. For the second news today, we have insolvency and bankruptcy code is not for money recovery proceedings and the Supreme Court reiterates this, that the provisions stipulated under the insolvency and the bankruptcy code were only intended to bring the corporate debtor back to its feet. The purpose of the code does not embody recovery of money or any recovery proceedings as such. And the same has been held in the case of Suresh Kumar Kakrania versus K. Jigibai. So this was all for today. For free study materials and TNA PDF slides, please join our Telegram channel by scanning the QR code given on the screen. You can also join our Instagram channels, lawseco.judiciary, lawseco clad prep, and ugcnet underscore lawseco. For any further information, please feel free to visit www.lawseco.com. Thank you.